Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to set up your Hibernate in your Java project using Apache NetBeans. So let's create a project, select Java with me, then then Java application. The next, let's type a uh, Hibernate. Then I do not put Hibernate only because um. If we download the dependency, it will error. So let's add here um, tutorial. Then to make our folder short, so let's name it tutorial. Okay, then next, finish. Then here, um, right click this. Um, resource packages to add resource folder so select this folder then name it resources then delete this java then finish so we have here um, resources um, folder so let's right click this um, folder then add a persistence unit if you don't see this then proceed to other then click this persistence then select this persistence unit then next then our persistence here let's create um fiber net or uh user rule which is the name of our uh, persistence unit then here let's create connection uh, let's select MySQL because a lot of beginner using MySQL. I do not um, uh, use Postgres or any MariaDB or Mongo. So let's uh, select this uh, MySQL because most of the beginners is using MySQL. So next, so here is we need to create database. So let's go back uh, before we proceed. Let's create database. Uh, in your services. Uh, let's add here a database then create database right right click then name uh, let's put a uh, hibernate okay this is the name of our uh, database then okay so we have here connected hibernate database so we don't have yet uh, tables because in next video I will teach you how to create tables using GPA um, next is here uh, let's add a persistence unit so go back then persistence then this one next then let's uh, name it a uh, user rule then it's okay uh, let's delete this uh, eclipse link uh, we will replace it uh, uh, hibernate because this uh, this is uh, obsolete, so let's select this one, Hibernate, our created database. So finish. So we have resistance here. So let's proceed. Uh, okay. So this is a uh, connection. So let's uh, delete this one. Okay. We don't need this because uh, to make a uh, simple our uh, database uh, URL, a GDBC URL. So that, that's it. Uh, root and uh, password is Aldrin. Okay. So here, let's add uh, our uh, dependency. So let's this uh, dependency. Uh, this is the e Eclipse. So let's delete this dependency because this is the obsolete. So let's uh, use uh, 2023 uh, dependency. So let's uh, type hibernate, this one, uh, hibernate. Then after you type hibernate, select this hibernate core, this one. Then do not select this parent because this is experimental. If you see uh, there's a color pink, so select this, this is a uh, final. Okay, select that one, then copy the dependency. 
then proceed to our dependency here the next one we need to um, in our hibernate search then next uh, you need to add dependency is this one hibernate entity manager which is created in okay, this one created February 2023 February 6 this one final this al this is uh, alpha so do not this is not suggested that you use this one is the final select this one then copy this dependency then paste okay so we have a dependency here so let's proceed so here in your folder uh, alden tutorial let's add a uh, java package which is uh, for example a uh, config then let's add here uh, java then let's name it a uh, hibernate config okay then here let's um call the the hibernate ano uh, entity manager factory so let's type here but before that we need to create a constructor public okay then hibernate config then here which is entity manager factory this one uh, this resistance this one not this, this uh, jakarta this one then next is uh, let's put here factory Okay. So I don't like to add um to add a sitter and gator here. So let's add go to your uh mbn repository dot com. So let's type here uh lumbok project. This one lumbok. Okay. Then this one. The current copy then paste to the depend next dependency here the third dependency okay uh, so then uh, download build with dependency to download the dependency that we add then here uh, let's uh, add not annotation here a uh, setter Uh, Lumbuk. So that uh, we have a setter of this um, uh, this one setter of this instance variable private. So let's make it private. Then here let's add getter. Okay, so we have getter here. So in next is let's call this this. Then let's put um, our persistence here so let's get a set factory so let's call the persistence uh, oh no persistence 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 this one uh, Jabox persistence not Jakarta then here uh, let's add here um, create manager factory this one then the name of our persistence which is user rule so here let's go to source then this is our name of our persistence so let's copy this one copy then proceed then paste here okay so we have a setup here so let's try to see if it is our 
uh, Hibernate setup connected to the database that we create Hibernate. So let's try here. Let's uh, new um, Hibernate setup. Uh, Hibernate can uh, config. So let's try one. If it is connected, so let's see what is. Oh, there's a lot of error here. The default common, I say. No persistence provider, so we don't have yet a provider. So let's go back here because our provider is different. So we have here uh, Eclipse. So let's delete this uh, provider. Um, then let's find the provider in our uh, dependency here. Let's see. Our provider. Uh, Okay, Hibernate this one. Then provider Hibernate. What is that? Hibernate. Um, GPA, this one. Okay, this this one. We have a provider here. Um, let's see. Okay, let's delete. Then let's uh, copy the source here, which is org. Or then hibernate, then GPA, then um, let's copy this class, this one. Um, let's put here hibernate uh, persistence, then provider. Okay, so let's try. To run the project. Run. If it is needed, a uh, provider. So there's another error here. Um, abstract cause. Okay, so we have a uh, driver manager connection provider. So we don't have a uh, GDBC connection. So maybe. Uh, I forgot, so we don't have yet a uh, MySQL uh, connection connector. So let's uh, let's type MySQL this one. Okay, this one. Then this one, then copy this dependency. Then after we copy the dependency, okay. Okay. So we have my SQL here. Then let's run. So we have um, successfully connected to our uh, database. So in the next video, I will teach you how to um, create a tables using GPA. So thank you guys for watching. See you next video. Bye.